What's up YouTube, just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be going over chapter 8, problem 46, in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker and Halliday and Resnick. And this particular problem is about potential energy and conservation of energy. And uh, problem 46 talks about a uh, 60 kilogram skier and he's going off of a uh, ski jump and his initial velocity is f uh, 24 meters per second directed at 25 degrees and his final or landing uh, speed is 22 degrees or sorry 22 meters per second and he falls a total of 40 meters 14, geez, 14 meters before uh, when he hits the base of the jump so, it, and the question wants to know the total mechanical energy of the skier that is lost due to air resistance. So, we know from our fundamental equation that energy equals K plus U. Kinetic energy, potential energy. Um, but the issue is we're trying to find how much is lost. So we need to find the change in energy. So that's going to be delta E change in energy equals the change in kinetic plus the change in potential energy. And if we further simplify that, that's just going to be um, 1 half mv final squared minus 1 half mv initial squared plus mg y final minus mg initial sorry mg y initial and we can simplify that a little bit by taking out the one half and the m here and the mg here and we get one half m and we get v final squared minus v initial squared plus mg y final minus y initial. And then when we plug in our values, we get 1 half, 60, and we get 24 squared minus 22 squared plus 60 times 9.81 drops 14, he drops 14 meters total, so that would be, our final is 14, and since he's, it only tells us that he drops 14 meters, we have to assume that his, in, his initial is considered zero, so we're going to put a zero there. And one thing is to be careful of, when you're doing duct decay, you have to make sure you do it in this format, like v, um, v final squared minus v initial squared, you can't just do v final minus v initial, all of that squared, because um, when you multiply those out, you will not get the same number. So you have to make sure you square each individual term on the inside. But nonetheless, when you do that, you should get 1.1 .1 times 10 to the fourth joules of energy that is lost due to air resistance. So that's it for this problem. Do not forget to request something that you would like to see. You can either do that in the comment section or you can DM me on Instagram, which will be in the description below. Please like this video if it was helpful. Like I said, leave a comment if you have an idea for a future video or if you have a question about something I did. And lastly, please help me out and subscribe. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.